You only need three things for this challenge. Paper, some art supplies, and a hat. That's right, you know it from the title. We are doing the line art first, one random watercolor challenge. Let's get into it. But before we start drawing our random colors from the hat, do any sort of painting or drawing, First, we have to sketch out ideas that we want to draw. So because this challenge is a random watercolor challenge, I don't know what color I'm going to get until after I draw. So let's go ahead and start sketching some random ideas. I have no colors to base this off of. So usually I start off with a basic character, see if we can't come up with something fun from that. I think I always start off with this pose. It's just a, hey, how you doing? I'm a character pose. Lately, I've loved drawing people with six packs, but instead of giving them a six pack, I give them like a nine pack and their abs are all wonky and it's fun and silly. Oops, I drew them naked. Whoopsies, what happened there? It's gonna be one of those videos. <laughs> What's this character do? Does he ride a horse? Does he have a horse pal? Does he have like a tiny horse pal? Uh oh, wait, I forgot how horses are. I've been drawing horses differently. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, never mind. We're just gonna create a random creature that isn't a horse cuz I kind of like this creature. I kind of want to draw this guy with his weird short camel elephant thing. Oh, I kind of like him. He's kind of cute. He should be hairy. Let's give him lots of little hairs. Okay, so I do want to start working on some more interesting background focused sketches because this is going to be a one color illustration. I do want to challenge myself to do a background, but I don't want it to be too detailed because I don't want our characters and all the details in the illustration to get too, too lost because it is going to be a single color. So we do have to keep that in mind, but Oh my gosh, am I am I going to use masking fluid? I always end up trying to play around with masking fluid during these challenges and it always goes wrong. I don't know why I always end up doing it. I kind of like this. We have our tree forest in the background. We have rocks and plants and things. And our character in the front, our little doggy situation in the mid background. I think that one will be a lot of fun. I'm going to sketch a couple more ideas just in case. Oh my gosh, what are these proportions? This is hilarious. I think I tried to shove him in the box a little bit there. Oopsies. Here we have our main character in the foreground and our little guy in the background sneaking up on him. He's very close to the camera. Very rough sketch. Wow. Oh, I kind of like this one because he's like off of the screen. I have this frame going around him. I kind of like this one because they pop off of the background. So I'm going to go with this one. Very similar to this one, obviously, but I do like the framing on this one a little more. So let's get to drawing. Creating illustrations that are monochromatic is not something that I am super used to. Yes, Inktober exists, but it's only something I practice about once a year. And it's really good to get to the habit of practicing working with tones, making sure you have a good balance of darks and lights in your illustration, which I have been trying to get a handle on for years now. But it's times like these that really help you regain that focus and realize exactly where you are with your work with balancing those darks and lights. I always end up getting stuck with a lot of mid-tones, so challenges or exercises like these are really fun for me to practice that. Yes, monochromatic works aren't anything new, but it's really fun to challenge yourself to work with a random color and to practice something that you are kind of weak in. Obviously, I went into this illustration not knowing what color I was going to get. Was it going to be a lush green forest? Was it going to be blue, turning it into something a little colder looking? Or was it going to be bright and pink or purple and look like some sort of alien planet? Who knew what we were going to get? But I was really excited because the line work for this illustration turned out super cute and fun and I was ready to color it. And 
now the moment we have all been waiting for. We draw the color from the hat. And that color is going to be, ooh, we have gold. How appropriate. Usually when it comes to swatching these challenges, it's a little more exciting when you have more than one color because you get to see how those two usually very different colors interact and what different colors they can create. But because we're just working with one color, I just wanted to see the range of tones we could get from it in its thickest or most condensed saturated consistency and then watering it down to see what it looks like as a very light color or less saturated. So once I had that down, it was time to get to work. Now my biggest regret, and I don't know why I always do this, I told myself, hey Casey, you're gonna wanna put this in a digital form really quick and do some mock-ups and see where you wanna put those light tones and those dark tones down. Did I do it? I did not. I said, hey, let's just jump right in there and make some mistakes because that's fun and regretful. That aside, you will notice that I actually removed the masking fluid immediately. I noticed that I had some pencil edges that I didn't want to paint over and then I couldn't erase them and just decided, you know what? These white birch trees that I have in the background anyway are just really easy to paint around. They're, they're basically just straight. So I went ahead and removed the masking fluid and if you've seen my testing at different masking fluids video, you know that I chose the best of the best that wouldn't rip the paper yet it still ripped the paper. I just don't, I don't know how to use masking fluid. I don't know what it is. I want to use it so bad, but every time I use it, it just destroys my paper. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. There's just a little spot on the leftmost tree, but that aside, it was easy enough to paint around the trees. So I went ahead and did that except for the rightmost tree. I forgot there was a tree there, which was fine. I remembered halfway through the tree, so I turned it into a stump and it actually looks pretty cool. So I guess that's fine. So going into this particular illustration, I had a few ways to approach where I put the darks and where I put the lights. Did I want the background to fade into darkness? Did I want the background to fade into lightness? Did I want our little creature in the midground to be our focal point? Or did I want our main character to be our focal point? Even though I didn't end up planning this digitally before jumping in, there was still a few things that I did need to make sure I was going to do before I went into it. I knew I wanted a dark to light faded sky because I did want to put some white clouds up there that were going to pop because I just love the way white clouds pop off of a darker sky. So taking into consideration that dark to light fade in the background, I had to make sure our character was a little bit lighter on the top and then faded to dark themselves. So I knew that their hair was going to be light, their skin tone was definitely going to be on the darker side, and their clothes are going to be a little bit darker, maybe mid-toned. A white shirt was obviously going to pop off of their dark skin, and of course I had to add some colorful stripes because I love stripes. Making sure other areas popped as well, like the white bone in their hand, the white ring on their ear, the jeans are a little bit of a lighter color so that the skin can shine through on the ripped parts. Stuff like that. This is also why I went ahead and included some white birch trees because I knew they would look really cool popping off of a monochromatic piece of art. So I do not regret that. I think the birch trees and the clouds turned out really cool. Moving on to our creature, I knew that I wanted it to be a lighter color because again, I did want there to be focus on that creature. If it was too dark, it was just going to blend into the background. So keeping it light meant that your eyes were drawn to it with that darker or mid grass around it. Obviously, it's not perfect when it comes to a balance of those lighter and dark colors, but I do really like the results of this image. I think it turned out really fun. It's got that warm, autumn-y feel to it. To be honest, the gold was a really lucky draw for this background. It's a good skin tone. The colors of the clothes don't look so bad. It looks like fall. The sky looks like the sun is setting. It just looks really nice and warm and like a really fun evening off where this kid is just playing with their weird dog creature. And I really like the results. Although my monochromatic illustration skills aren't quite at a professional level yet, I definitely have a lot to work on and it's definitely something that I've been struggling with for a while. Challenges like these are always fun and I encourage you guys to also do the same. Grab a random marker, crayon, colored pencil, watercolor, paint, whatever you use, and challenge yourself to create an image with just one color. It's good practice. 
It's good fun. And feel free to share your results on my social media. Obviously links in the description. Which reminds me, I also put all of my art tools that I use in every video in the description. So if you're ever curious as to what I'm using, just check there. Anyways, you know what time it is. Peel porn. That is it for our random watercolor challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let's thank our patrons. Have I mentioned you guys are awesome? Seriously, thank you all so much for the support. And hey, do you wanna become a patron yourself? Do you want line art coloring pages, early access to my videos, and secret sketches? Check out the link to my patron in the description. Thank you guys all so much. Stay golden, bye.